What's up everyone, Justin here, back with a new countdown video, a new countdown show. Uh, before I start, get, it's a great product, get your smart button. Smart button, you can get it at their website, go to their Twitter page, at smart button, or that's their uh, Twitter handle, at Smart button, S M A R K button on Twitter. You can find their website from their Twitter. Go to their site, get your smart button. When you're watching wrestling with friends, having a wrestling party, having a get together. Watching Survivor Series together, having a watch along, doing reaction videos. Get your damn smart button. It's fun. It's a blast. It's fun to press. It's, it's, it's great. Get it. You got a ton of chance on it. It's very awesome. If you're a wrestling fan, you'll love it and enjoy it. It was a boring chant, it sounded like, uh, hopefully you're not bored by my show and what I'm about to talk about. This is a new countdown. New countdown, top 10 worst women wrestlers. Some of these women were not in it, were not in wrestling long. Some of them barely had any matches or experience wrestling or wanting to be a wrestler. Some didn't give a crap if they were good or not. They were told to wrestle, so they did. They did their job. They did what they were told by the booker. Whoever booked some of these women should absolutely be uh, shot and beat up because they were god-awful and embarrassing and an embarrassment to wrestling and an embarrassment to other women wrestlers that want to take it seriously. Uh, some of these women I will bash and uh, tear them apart because they were no good and they didn't really care to get good. They were basically in wrestling, some of them, for just for a payday. And some because I guess they had some name value. One of them's a celebrity. Number 10, the worst women wrestlers. This woman is not a wrestler, but she was hired to wrestle on a pay-per-view for TNA. Again, I don't even like calling her a wrestler, but she wrestled once. She was god-fucking-awful. She was trash. She was a shit. She was absolutely just bad. It was embarrassing how bad she was. Watch the match. It's on YouTube somewhere. Her entrance is fucking embarrassing. How she... It's laughable how she enters a fucking ring. She, like she's some fucking stripper. Or thought she's at a strip club. I know she's on Survivor. But I don't give a fuck. I don't watch Survivor. I don't care about that show. Never have. Not a fan of it. If you are, good for you. Keep watching it. I don't watch Survivor. So, uh, yeah. Number 10 was, uh, geez. Number 10 is from TNA. Jenna, who I don't even know her last name, Jenna. I don't remember her last name, and I don't care. Jenna against Charmel. Victory Road, 2009. TNA pay-per-view live on fucking pay-per-view. I think that a knockouts match, I hope, after this shit, because it was god-awful. Charmel is not a wrestler. Never was. She was a manager, a valet. She was a former Nitro girl. I think she's a former Miss Black America in, I think, 1991 or something. 
think she won a contest in 91 for Miss uh, Black America, I think. But I got nothing against Charmel. I do have something against Jenna from Survivor. She fucking embarrassed TNA. Yes, the company. Uh, yeah, the company is called TNA. You know what that stands for. And uh, people don't think of total nonstop action when they hear the letters TNA. They fucking don't. I'm glad it's Impact Wrestling. It's a better name. But God Almighty, Jenna was the absolute shit. One of the worst matches and performances I've ever seen from anybody stepping in a ring. Number 10, worst women wrestlers, Jenna from Survivor. Number 9, I got nothing against her. I'm not going to bash her. She worked hard. She tried hard. She was not a great wrestler, but she had a little bit of ability and some uh, athleticism. And she did have charisma, and let's be honest, she got her job because she was smoking hot. And she looked like a, she was, a, I believe, a bikini model. I believe uh, Johnny Ace, John Laurinaitis found Kelly Kelly and just hired her because of her looks. And my God, when she was a part of ECW, when it debuted and came back on Sci-Fi, WWE's ECW, my God, Kelly Kelly was so, so green. So green. Looked like a deer in headlights, like she was scared to death to be on TV and didn't know where to didn't know what to do and like where to stand on camera she just looked nervous as hell and scared and I'm sure she's scared out of her mind because her debut she had to fucking strip on a stage so that did not help her looking comfortable cause she was told you gotta strip on stage you're an exhibitionist what the fuck Vince you were trying to be edgy because ECW name was back. It didn't work. And again, Kelly Kelly. Gorgeous woman. Gorgeous body. Looks great. Not a good wrestler. One of the worst. Number nine, Kelly Kelly. Yeah, she's Divas champion. I don't care. She didn't deserve to be champion. She wasn't good enough. Number nine, worst women wrestlers number nine Kelly Kelly number eight I don't care if she's champion for 28 38 48 years I don't care she was one of the worst women's wrestlers I've ever seen she was bad she's not a good wrestler she's sloppy she did a ton of botches in the ring her style was just slow and boring as fuck from what I saw of her in the 80s she was bad, not a good wrestler. Number eight, the fabulous Moolah. I don't care if she's champion for 50 fucking years or however long her reign was as women's champion. I don't care. I think she's a bad, bad, not a good wrestler. One of the worst. So number eight, the fabulous Moolah. If you did pimp out women wrestlers to get them in the business, and if you did drug them and do all that shit, I hope you're rotting and burning in hell. I know there's a dark side of the ring about her, and she probably did do all that bad, bad shit. She was not a good person. Number eight, the fabulous Moolah. One of the worst. Number seven, I got nothing against her. I'm not going to bash her. Not gonna rip her like I just ripped off Fabulous Moolah. Basically, Fabulous Moolah is a, a pimp and drugged, uh, basically drugged women to, and was their pimp and stole their money they made in wrestling. I'm pretty sure she did. Or maybe she didn't, but I believe she did. Number seven, I got nothing against her. She was a good manager. 
She's a good Nitro girl, Charmel. Should have never wrestled. She wrestled, I think, a few times, and she was one of the worst wrestlers, number seven, Charmel. I hope Booker T doesn't watch this. I'm not disrespecting her wife. She was just not a good wrestler. And it it wasn't her fault. She was told, I'm sure you got to wrestle. Number six, one of the worst wrestlers. She could have been number one. She's so bad. She took no bumps. There's my phone beeping. So it's Twitter notifications. Uh, anyways. Let me turn this sound off. So, uh, yeah, one of the worst wrestlers for sure. One take bumps, could barely do anything. She had like two or three moves she could do, that's it. And they didn't even look good. The only way she looked good is if she's being carried in a mixed tag. That's the only way she looked good. I will say I, I thought she was attractive and she had a great body. But this is about wrestling and she was one of the worst wrestlers. Number six, Sable. One of the worst in the ring. Yeah, she's women's champion. I don't care. She didn't deserve it. She was a bad wrestler. But it was a different era. You can't blame her. You can't fault her for fucking getting the push she did. It wasn't her fault. She was told, go on TV, hardly do anything, and... Wear, like, super tight outfits, uh, get your breasts done to, like, giant basketballs on your chest at one point. She had, like, giant, huge fucking tits that were, like, the size of basketballs. I think it was in, like, 98. Looked like she got her boobs bigger than ever. So, uh, anyways, Sable. Sable is number six. She was so fucking bad in the ring, but she did bring the ratings. She was a bigger star than Sonny, in my opinion. Sonny, Sable were in the company at the same time during the Attitude Era. And Sable was a bigger star because she got more TV time, did more, and got more ratings. I don't hate Sable. I don't even dislike her. She was just bad at wrestling and not a good women's wrestler. But again, I hope Brock doesn't watch this. He would destroy me. He'd probably destroy Sable when he bangs her every time. Anyways, uh, number six, Sable. Again, she didn't have to be a great wrestler because it was the Attitude Era and they didn't give a fuck about their women being good wrestlers or having good matches. It was all about sex sells, basically. It was all about bra and panty matches and evening gown matches. So it was not Sable's fault she was pushed and put on TV because it was a different era. But she's one of the worst fucking wrestlers still. Number six, Sable. Number five, the fucking twat cunt that she is. Fucked up person. Bad person that she is. She has a fucking addiction problem. She's been in, in and out of jail about 20 times. Hasn't learned her fucking lesson. Did like five DUIs in a year. If you're doing that shit, you're fucked up and you need help. Number five. This one pisses me off because she didn't even try. She didn't even try to wrestle. She didn't even care. Again, she was told, you got to have a match. She probably didn't want to and she didn't know much. Chris Candido probably had to try to teach her what to do. Because she's too damn stupid. She couldn't pick up wrestling. So anyways. Number five is Sunny. One of the worst women's wrestlers ever. She wasn't really a woman's wrestler at all. She was just put in a few matches. 
But the matches she was in were absolute trash, and she looked like shit and didn't know what to do. Number five, Sunny. Number four. Now, this woman should have been number five. I'm going to switch them around. This woman's number five. Sunny is number four because she was worse than this woman. At least number five tried. Number five, Eva Marie. She was bad. Really bad at wrestling. Did a lot of botches. Looked like she was nervous every time she wrestled. Like she was afraid she's going to injure someone or get hurt. Barely took any bumps. She looked scared. And it was sad. She, they tried to get her to tried to teach her how to wrestle, but she still didn't learn good. She was not good at it. It was not for her. Eva Marie, good-looking woman, great body. She'd be fine as a manager. She should never return to wrestling as a wrestler. She doesn't have it as a wrestler. Some have it, some don't. Sonny Eva Marie fucking did not have it in the ring. Sable is better than both of them. So number five, Eva Marie, number four, Sonny. Number three, this woman maybe could work. I think she's in Japan at one point. I don't know. But I thought she was shit. I thought she's bad in the ring, sloppy, injured women, injured Alundra Blaze a lot. Number, uh, what is this, three. Number three, Bertha Faye was in the WWF a short time in 95. Had a match at SummerSlam 95 for the women's title. And then somehow, I think it's, I don't know what year. 99, 2000, she appeared in WCW at one point. And yeah, she's a big overweight woman. Maybe she could work, but the matches I saw of her in WWF were god awful. Number three, Birth of Fate. Number two, somehow. Because she was trying to be like a full-time wrestler, she was worse than Sonny. But Sonny probably would have been worse if she was full-time. It wasn't her fault. I'm not going to bash her. She looked great. Very attractive. Had a great body. But she did not have it in the ring. As I said, some have it, some don't. This woman did not have it. She could not pick up wrestling. She was bad, really bad at it. Number two, from TNA, Lacey Von Eric. One of the worst women wrestlers I've seen. Number two, Lacey Von Eric. Number one, number one. She's a part of WWE for a long time, a couple years. And she actually showed up in AEW for the women's uh, tag team tournament. They brought her in. And my God, I hope uh, Tony Khan regrets bringing her in. Because what I saw from her in AEW was a fucking mess. It was a nightmare. It was a bad, bad, bad performance. It did not get her hired. Did not get her a contract with AEW. I wonder why. Because she was absolute shit in the ring. She did a ton of botches. She looked uncomfortable as hell. It was not good. Her time away from the ring did not help. She got worse. Since she's in WWE, showed up in AEW in the women's tag team tournament. Who am I talking about? My number one worst woman wrestler ever ever Cameron Cameron whatever her name was in AEW I forget Ariana or something I don't know but uh she was a part of the Funkadactyls in WWE with Naomi 
She couldn't wrestle there. She went to NXT. She couldn't wrestle there. But then she showed up in AEW. And I gave her a chance. I watched her matches. They were shit. Absolute garbage. Performance. It was horrendous. What? How bad she looked. It was just embarrassing. I felt bad for the other women in AEW that had to wrestle and work with her. She does not have it. I hope she retires from wrestling because she does not have it. And that's okay. Some have it. Some don't. She never had it. And when she went to AEW in 2020, she got worse and regressed from what she did in NXT. And what she did in NXT was bad. She always did botches. But in AEW, somehow she was worse. And I guess AEW wanted to give her a shot. Give her an opportunity. Holy fuck. I hope she does not get any more opportunities from any companies. Because she's not a good wrestler. Number one worst woman wrestler, Cameron. Or whatever her real name is. I don't know. I don't care. She was not a good wrestler. Oh, she was not good. Hope you enjoyed this countdown. Top 10 worst women wrestlers. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.